Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Ghostly Legends of the Old West, sticking with that whole horror thing, so, part one. Okay folks, it's about 12.30, and uh, I gotta wake up in four hours to go do this movie, so I'm gonna be pretty tired tomorrow. Um, but I know you're all gonna be there with me, so let's do this thing. Many of you have asked what movie I'm working on. Well. I got the go-ahead from the production crew to mention a few things. The title is A Cry in the Night, and it's about the legend of La Llorona. I seem to be falling into my stride playing a bartender in cinema, so that's my part of it. La Llorona is a Mexican legend of a young lady who, through a series of unfortunate events in her life, drowns her two children. In researching this, I found that there are countless stories about what translates to the weeping woman. However, all of them seem to end with the warning of La Llorona's ghost searching for her children and taking your life if you see her or hear her cries. So, yeah, not a comedy. In the version I'm in, Maria, a young barmaid in an 1880s border town, falls in love with a man who dumps her when he finds out he impregnated her. She falls in love again later on, but also gets dumped when this fella finds out about the children. All the while, her mom brings new meaning to the term dysfunctional family. Well, Maria's cheese slips off the cracker, and she realizes if it wasn't for the children, her life would be better. So she drowns them. In the late 1800s, cowboys began to see the death bird. This legend of the ghostly spirit bird originated with Native Americans, and its presence signified that someone nearby was dying, or that you were about to buy the farm. Even if you didn't see it, supposedly you could hear its unearthly piercing call. Not all of these scary legends bring death. Some try to prevent it. The ghost train of Marshall Pass, Colorado is the story of an engineer who tried to outrun a train coming up behind them through a treacherous area. Eventually, he and the passengers saw the train derail and crash. The following day, there was a warning scratched into the frost on his window, saying he should never ride this route again or he will wreck. Authorities never found a crash train in the area, and the engineer quit the route immediately. It is said that a phantom train will pop out of the desert, blaring its horn, flashing its lights. I don't know if I believe in that kind of stuff, but if you look off to the left-hand side of the train, you might actually... Oh, there it is. Did I say left? I'm sorry. I meant right side. Sorry. That scare you? I know it did. Here we have the Navajo Skinwalker, ladies and gentlemen, here at nightfall with his McDonald's bag. Yeah. Tell me your name, sir. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. You like doing it? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Are you terrified? I wouldn't say terrifying, more just a jackass that sits out there in the desert. Good. The Navajo would be proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up here, I got a chupacabra with blue hair. I got a reptoid. Let's see their feet so you understand. There you go. Introduce yourselves real quick. Alex. Alex. McDaniels. All right, awesome. Nightfall. Nightfall. Yeah. So the bartender says, why the long face? You get it? <coughs> you like that one, right? He likes it. Hey, Diego, have you met Rex yet? No, I have not. No, he's right there. Say hi. <gasps> oh, I'm out of here. Climb on board for the ride of your life. Well, folks. Thanks again for watching another episode. Appreciate it. Appreciate you putting up with everything we've had to go through the last couple weeks. So, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Look, there's another one right over there. Do you what? see it? Do you see it? You know what? See what? It's another monster. Another monster? Yeah, it's right over there. Oh, okay, hang on. It's just Dan. Hey, Dan! It's, come here! It's not, Dan ain't funny anymore. It's come not on Dan. Out. He's doing a movie up north. I told you already. You know, you've been working really hard lately, right? Yeah. Yeah? Late nights, all that kind of stuff. And uh -huh. I think you're taking this monster thing a little too seriously. When are you going to get a break? I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of strange things lately. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Don't freak out. 
you know, you got sleep deprivation, you know, and people see a lot of strange things when they're deprived of sleep. Jerry, I'm freaking out. Okay, okay. I'm freaking hey, you out. You know what? I got it. I got it. You know what you need? You need a kick a butt cocktail. Come on, let's go. Come on. What's a kick a butt cocktail? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fret. It'll be fine. You're good. good. Hey, hand me that jug right there, will you? The blue one? Yeah. Yes. Got her. Oh, Jerry, I don't, you don't know about this. I mean, you're going to all this trouble. All right, and... There you go, drink up. No. It smells disgusting. Come on, drink up. What? You I... saying things, aren't you? I don't know, Jerry. Hey, fellas. Everybody get ready for help. What are you drinking there? What is that congealed mess? Damn, I thought you were out of town. What are you doing there? Ah, uh, change the plans. That is a kick a butt cocktail. Kick a butt cocktail. Yeah. Wait what? a minute, wait a minute. I know what's going on. I I know what's going on with you two. Nice try. Nice. What? Guys, look, there it is. There's another one right there. You see it? Right there. What is it? Oh, that's it. That's it. Forget it. I'll just do it. <laughs> wow. Drank the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Here's the 20 bucks. Thank you very much. You guys must have been working it pretty hard. Yep. <laughs> I'll go check them. Hope he makes it in the restroom. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Hey, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. How about I buy you a cup of coffee?